Peter Serafinowicz show. So, finally I get to see where the famous James Bond lives. Aren't you the lucky one? You're not going to get me drunk and take advantage of me, are you, James? Of course not. What makes you think I'll need to get you drunk? <laughs> Yes, Mummy. What time do you call this? It's late. Oh, it's only half past ten. I've been worried sick. Who's this? Another of your whores? Mummy, please. Shoes off, love. What's she called? Sorry. It's Tatiana. Oh. Mm. Another foreigner. Why can't you get a nice English girl? Like Philippa, she was nice. Philippa's dead, Mummy. And Veronica. Oh, yeah. Someone called N phoned. Wrote it on the pad. He didn't leave a number. Can I get you a drink, darling? No, thank you. Actually, it's late. I need to get up early in the morning. Listen, she'll be going to bed soon, and then we can... A rude to whisper! Sorry, James. It was uh, lovely to meet you. Oh, and you, love, yeah. You seem like a nice girl. I'm sorry I called you a whore. Look, have a biscuit for your handbag. Oh, no, no. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Good night. Good night, James. I hate you, Mummy. You make my life a damned misery. It's for your own good. Now, go and tidy your room. It's a tip. You're not meant to go in there! I couldn't see the floor for empty champagne bottles and condom wrappers. So, one day, eight boy rabbits met three girl rabbits in a rabbit hutch. Pretty soon, they were at it like rabbits, and before long, there were 24 baby rabbits. So, how many rabbits in the riddle? If you just joined us and you think you know the answer, pick up the phone and have a go. What do you reckon? The answer's there. All you have to do is add. Kill the French ambassador. You will kill the French ambassador. You must kill the French ambassador. The number of rabbits in the riddle. OK, we have a caller. Who's on the line? Amy. Hi, Amy. Where are you calling from? Streatham. OK, Amy from Streatham, what's your answer? 26. 26. Let's see if that's right. Oh, sorry, Amy, that's the wrong answer. Oh. Thanks for calling, though. Got any plans tonight? I'm going to kill the French ambassador. Good for you. Absolutely amazing. Thanks. But let's hear what our judges think. That was awesome, Jake. <laughs> you, sir, you're going to go all the way, kid. It's fantastic. <laughs> Simon. Um, Jake. Interesting. Um, good choice of song. <laughs> But here's the thing. I think you're a <laughs> Simon. 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 Suspect your husband's having an affair? Worried your wife may leave you? Concerned your daughter may have run away with gypsies? Then put your fears to rest with the Butterfield Detective Agency. With my array of disguises, I can blend seamlessly into almost any environment. Firefighter. Holidaymaker. Infant. Explorer. Fitness instructor. American. Christmas man. And that's not all. Sailor. Croupier. Lord Mayor's croupier. Pyramid worker. Theatrical Ghost, Central American, Male Air Hostess. And that's still not all. Gay Man, 
Australian, tea lady, comedian, office worker, carpet salesman. That's all. So call the Butterfield Detective Agency now. And I promise I will try my absolute hardest to bring your loved ones back to you, dead or alive. Kennedy St. King, this is O News. It's all change at the Playboy Mansion, where Hugh Hefner has decided to put age before beauty. I had nothing in common with those younger girls. They looked up to me as a kind of a great, 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 great grandfather figure. The French ambassador dies of a mysterious illness. But this week's hottest story is the king is back. And O News was there to welcome his return. After nearly dying on the toilet in 1977, Elvis became a recluse, battling his food addiction. I was all out of burgers and meat and, and uh, hot dogs. I was so hungry that I got my chef to fry me up some golf balls. And then I ate them. One by one, that was a sad night in Graceland. As the weight increased and the sales declined, in 1991, Elvis collaborated with West Coast rapper Cypress Hill. I'm gonna get stoned with my homies. I'm gonna get stoned with my homies. I like those Cypress Hill boys, but the hip hop got less and less, and we got stoned more and more. And now look at that picture of myself, I think. That is one fat Elvis Aaron Presley. I lost my musical direction, and all respect for my body. But now I'm back, I'm on the right road, and uh, I got a great new song. And with his sexy new look, the king has gone back to doing what he knows best. Well, I send you follows and I don't understand what that means no I don't understand what that means sadly since that interview was taped Elvis Presley has died after swallowing what he thought was a fake suicide pill. I'll see you next time on O News. O News. So the next item on the Your Beautiful Hour Your beautiful. is a fantastic product. It's uh, the Rejuvenate Cream, product number 770164. This cream has in fact been infused with the lovely fragrance of Ylang Ylang. Mm, Ylang Ylang. <laughs> yalang, yalang. It's a fantastic couple of words, yalang, yalang. I love the shape it makes with your mouth. Yalang, yalang. Yeah, it's great. I wonder what it does to your tongue. Yalang, yalang. <laughs> I think a demonstration is called for. Absolutely. No, no, let me pop it on. No, no, I can do it. Oh, no, I can do it, 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 I can do it. All right, just pop a bit on. <laughs> Not sure we need quite that much. <laughs> oh, and the lovely thing about this product is it really does feel um, very refreshing. Product number 770-164. Oh, God. Are you OK? Yes, Have sorry. your teeth retracted? Yeah, they have, yes. Can I check, please? OK. Have they? Yeah. Ah. Yep, you're OK. OK. Yeah. Oh, 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 take it away. Take it away. OK. Oh, oh God. Oh, is it gone? It's gone. Oh. It's gone. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry. The Rejuvenate Cream, £10.99. Uh. Can anybody tell me what is the hardest thing to do in acting? What is the hardest thing to do? Is it dying? It's a good answer, but no. Is it playing a pedophile? Yeah, that's pretty tough. Uh, that wasn't what I was thinking, but... Uh... It's not the answer. Pretending to ski? You know, pretending to ski is actually uh, pretty easy. Um, the hardest thing to do in acting is to cry. 
So, um, how do you make it look so realistic? Well, you know, all you have to do is to think of a sad time. When I was a kid, my, uh, my papa bought me uh, an ant farm. Oh, I love those ants. I gave them all names. Uh, Blackie, Shiny, uh, William. But there was one little ant who only had five legs, and I call him Limpy. Anyway, one day uh, I came home from school, and uh, my papa said to me, um, Al, I'm afraid that Limpy has been diagnosed with cancer. Oh boy, here I go. <laughs> you see, it's working already. <laughs> uh, okay, wah, 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 wah. Right, let me show you the technique and practice in a movie clip. They got me. Here we go. Limpy's <gasps> 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 got cancer! Our top story tonight, Prime Minister, ex-Prime Minister, President, ex-President, Clinton. Carter, Reagan, was commemorated, was remembered, was resurrected, successfully, unsuccessfully. Oh, that's a shame. Well, join me tomorrow at 10 p.m., 10 a.m., 10 b.m., 10 b.m. But what did our judges think? Sharon? Well, Morris, I thought first of all that, that I didn't like the song. Oh, no. But, 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 having said that, I thought you did a great yeah. performance. Simon. You really want to know what I think? Yay! Really? Yay! I think you're a <laughs> Welcome back, smiley face. Before the break completed, we were talking to Nikki, who says, My husband is cheating on me with my own sister. Ooh. Oh, no, he is. I am sorry about your situation. Sad face. I found sexual texts on his mobile. And you know what? He's done it before with my mate Sandra. How did you feel when you found sexual texts on his mobile and me know what, he'd done it before with me mate Sandra? Tell you what, Michael Six, you get him out here, yeah? I'll show you exactly how I feel. Let us bring out Phil. Oh, what do you know about it? Yeah, come on in. Yeah, you're a liar. No, I ain't you cheating bastards. Yeah, I work out faithful, right? I work. Whatever. I work. You know it. <laughs> Phil, I am going to perform a lie detection test. Do you understand? Hello? Yes. Please say hello. Hello. Initiating lie detection mode. Ready. 
Phil. Hello. H Hello. Phil, are you a man? Yes. It is truth. Phil, is your name Phil Penicholi? Well, it's pronounced penis hole, but yes. It is truth. Phil, did you sleep with Nikki's sister? No, I never. It is not truth. I told you! What did I say to you? You are a liar, Phil. Smiley face. I ain't a fucking liar. You're a liar. Oh, fucking yeah. hell. <laughs> you are a liar. I am a liar. You are a liar. I am a liar. Oh. I am a liar. You are a liar. Initially. Guys, guys, you're gonna. Hey, look, I'm a liar. Hey, look, I'm a liar. I am a liar. You are a liar. I am a liar. I am a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. When I wrote my novels all those years ago, I never thought they could be improved upon. Well, how wrong I was. Now, they've got even tastier. It's the jammy goodness in New Dickens Fruit Corners that makes them a better read than ever. Mmm, Charles Dickens is brilliant. It's never been easier to get kids reading my masterpieces. And it's fun, too. Each book comes in one exciting flavor. Nutrition experts have come up with the perfect jam to complement each story. Did Charles Dickens like jam, Dad? <laughs> no. No, he didn't. New Dickens Fruit Corners. Jam packed with goodness. Please, Mum, may I have some more jam? <laughs> Dickens Fruit Corners. A guide to modern life. Let's have a baby. Are you considering having a baby? Then here are some facts that may be useful for you and your wife. First, where do babies come from? Well, the baby comes out of an opening near the woman's bottom. This marks the end of the pregnancy cycle, a period of nine weeks, during which time the woman is referred to as Pregnant Nancy. If you're from a wealthy background, the baby may be born with a silver spoon in its mouth, which can be quite uncomfortable for the mother. Congratulations, it's a boy. Isn't he adorable? You may have noticed that the baby was born with a moustache, although this tends to get shaved off nowadays, as it's not that fashionable. Now, what are you going to call your baby? Well, these days, the baby's allowed to choose its own name. This baby boy has named himself Stephanie. Silly baby. The baby's name is then written on the birth certificate, which also contains the sex, weight, and the profession of the baby. This one's going to become an IT consultant, whatever that is. When you've taken your baby home, you'll need to look after it properly. What will you feed it? <laughs> well, don't worry. Babies are natural-born cooks and can cook pretty much from birth. This baby's made a chicken and leek pie. Mmm, it looks delicious. When your baby's not in the kitchen, you may find that it spends most of its time crying. This is because babies have vivid premonitions of the future and can see what will happen to themselves, their parents, and indeed the rest of mankind. This baby is witnessing the rise of the internet and Al-Qaeda, whatever they are. Although looking after a newborn is a big responsibility, you mustn't forget to enjoy the precious time you spend with your baby. After all, he won't be a baby for long. Pretty soon he'll grow up to become a super baby. I think someone needs a nappy change. Next up is this lovely silver charm pendant necklace, number 379511. You know, uh, I saw Kate Moss wearing something very similar to this the other day, and uh, she's not doing too badly for herself, is she? No, she certainly isn't, Stephen. It's extremely elegant, £8.99. Now, I think the only way to do this justice is for somebody to model it. Oh, well, I don't really think it's in your size, Stephen. <laughs> no, I mean you. You're beautiful. No. Oh, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. Look, the, even the camera's nodding. See? OK. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'll do it, 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 I'll do it. Now... Now, this necklace is available in sizes F, J, L, M and M. Are your 
right there, Stephen. Oh, uh, yeah. You sure? Uh. No! Do you want to have a live chat with one of our gorgeous Basil Fawlty impersonators? Oh, oh, good. Good. <laughs> Call now and speak to real Basil Fawlty impersonators in your area. Oh, yes. Well, why don't you understand, you clothy bint? Oh, I'm so terribly sorry. Yes, madam, I am frightfully tall. Dial 09098 798 790. Yes? I beg your pardon. Do excuse me. Is there a problem? Well, yes, there is a problem, actually. I went to pick up the phone. Well, it's quite simple, actually, because this is my phone. Oh, it's your phone? Yes. Oh, well, pardon me for being so stupid. Uh, how do you go about preparing to do accents for characters? Uh, I guess what you do is um, try and listen to people. Immerse yourself, you know. I was playing in a movie, uh, a Cockney man, and uh, I lived for five months on the east side of London. And there was one line I had a uh, real uh, problem with. And then I, 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 I nailed it. Let me try it out on you. Uh, it was, um, oh, we gotta hide the body underneath the apples and pears. Go blimey. What's that, I think? How did that sound? Ben, that's uh, uncanny. Really? Uh, it's just like my granddad. Uh, he, he died recently. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Uh, but he lived his whole life in Hackney, and that sounded just like him. Wow. Wow. What is your name? Uh, Brian. Brian. Oh, hello, Brian. It's your granddad. Oh, come and give your granddad a kiss. Oh! Oh, mate! Oh! You've blown out the candles. Turned off the oven. Locked the front door. Secured the windows. Switched off the bandsaw. And hidden your gold. But you've forgotten about the poison sockets. Remember, poison sockets are full of poison. Switch them off. Oh, Martin, Martin, that was that was absolutely stunning. I'm I'm in bits here. I really am. But what did the judges think? Martin, Martin. Um. You've surprised me. That was the best performance we've ever had on the show. I'd even go as far as to say that you have the best singing voice I've ever heard. You've done Wales proud, and more importantly, you've done yourself proud. However, you are a Um, th thank you, Simon, but, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think the audience agree. Well, they wouldn't agree because they're <laughs> You are! You are! <laughs> so these cordless hair straighteners from the Pro Hair Studio will really revolutionise the way you straighten your hair. Item number 314867. Now, I'm going to let you into a little secret now because uh, our very own Katie uses these hair straighteners on her fringe every morning, don't you, Katie? Katie, what's got into you? Very quiet this evening. As a model, it's important to get my beauty sleep. If I'm not working, I can spend the whole day asleep on the couch. Sometimes my boyfriend plays tricks on me. <laughs> He's such an idiot. He loves drawing wrinkles on my face. He thinks it's so funny. But it's not great for my job. Now there's a solution. Vitrine Ink Wrinkle Cream removes drawn-on wrinkles fast. Vitrine's rich formula removes even the finest ink wrinkles. There. Now I look amazing again. Oh, where have your wrinkles gone? 
Seriously, I think there's something wrong with my boyfriend. Don't have pretend wrinkles. Have great-looking skin. <laughs> Hello, Beatle fans, and welcome to Ringo Remembers. You know, people think that um, being in the Beatles must have been a lot of fun. Well, it was, most of the time. But um, sometimes it was bloody awful especially towards the end. We would argue and you know, fight. And sometimes the arguments just got bloody ridiculous. I just think we should go to the toilet. That's all I'm saying, you know. Sounds sensible to me. I am pretty full. You know, why is it we always have to do what you want us to do? Hey, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, you know. We're just human beings. It's a physical fact. I didn't design the human digestive system, you know. We just all need to go to the toilet, simple as that. I really don't need the toilet. You did have that bloody big lentil curry, George. You're not listening. We don't need to go to the toilet. All right, maybe we do need to go to the toilet. Are you absolutely best enough? So we all went upstairs onto the roof and we came up with another bloody song. You got a pain. Deep down inside Look on your face You just can't hide Take a load off of your mind Take a load off your behind I'm talking to you It's something we all do Girl, you know it's true Oh yeah Just go for a poo Well, I couldn't. I tried, but it just wouldn't come. John was trying, George was trying, but we were all too nervous. But Paul, being Paul, just showing off, and well, he just pooed his brains out. Don't be afraid, don't mess around. Just take my hand and sit right down. Put on a smile, take off that frown. Get rid of those blues and flush away that Number is two. You know what to do. Oh Lord, just go for a poo. Well, it was the first song to get into the charts about going to the toilet. That is, until the Rolling Stones released their shit album. And that was full of them. <laughs> 